Have you ever wondered what is more fundamental, particles or the quantum mechanical wave function? Let's start with particles. In the realm of classical physics, the world as we know it is built from these tiny, discrete entities known as particles. They come with specific properties, mass, charge, position, that make them the fundamental building blocks of matter. Picture them as minuscule objects, each with their unique attributes moving through the vast expanse of space and time. But when we journey into the quantum world, things start to get a little more complex. Here, the concept of particles is intertwined with something called the quantum mechanical wave function. This wave function is a mathematical entity, an abstract concept that encapsulates the probabilities of all possible states of a particle, be it position, momentum, or other physical properties. Unlike the definite reality of particles in classical physics, in the quantum realm, particles exist in a state of probability until a measurement is made. At that point, the wave function collapses and we get a definite outcome. Now, let's talk interpretations. If you lean towards the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics, the particle-centric view is your go-to. In this perspective, particles are the primary reality. The wave function, well, it's a convenient tool, a means to an end that helps us calculate probabilities of particle properties. It's like having a map when you're navigating unfamiliar territory. The map isn't the territory itself, but it helps you understand it. So in the particle view, particles are the fundamental reality, and everything else, including the wave function, is just a tool to understand them. But as we'll see in the next scene, not everyone agrees with this interpretation. Some physicists argue that it's the quantum mechanical wave function that's more fundamental. Now let's turn our attention to the quantum mechanical wave function. The wave function, a concept unique to quantum mechanics, is a mathematical function that encapsulates all possible states of a system. It's not an easy concept to grasp, but imagine it as a cloud of possibilities, a superposition of all possible states a particle could be in. When we measure a particle's properties, something fascinating happens. The wave function collapses, and we find the particle in one particular state. Until that point, the particle was not in any one state, but rather in a probabilistic mix of many states. It's as if Schrodinger's famous cat is both alive and dead until you open the box to check. This wave function view of reality is at the heart of interpretations, like the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. In this perspective, the wave function is the fundamental reality. It dictates the behavior of all particles, the fabric of the universe itself. What we perceive as particles, those tiny bits of matter we thought were the building blocks of the universe, are merely manifestations of the wave function's properties. In this view, the universe is a grand symphony of wave functions ever evolving and interacting. Our reality, then, is not a static stage on which particles play out their roles. Instead, it's a dynamic, probabilistic dance of wave functions, constantly evolving and collapsing to create the reality we see around us. This is quite a departure from the particle view, where particles with definite properties are the primary reality. In the wave function view, the wave function guides everything, and particles are just manifestations of its properties. It's a mind-bending, perspective-shifting way of seeing the universe, and it's one of the reasons quantum mechanics is such a fascinating field of study. So next time you look at the world around you, remember, beneath the surface, it's all a dance of wave functions, a symphony of probabilities playing out in the grand theater of the quantum world. In the wave function view, the wave function guides everything, and particles are just manifestations of its properties. So what does it mean if we consider the wave function? a purely mathematical, immaterial function to be more fundamental than particles. Well, it's like looking at the world through a prism of probability, where nothing is definite until observed. It's a departure from the deterministic universe we're used to, where objects exist with well-defined states, independent of observation. Instead, we're in a probabilistic universe where particles do not have definite properties until they are measured. Then, there's the phenomenon of entanglement, another mind-bending aspect of quantum mechanics. 
It's where particles, no matter how far apart, can be linked in such a way that the state of one instantly influences the state of the other. This defies our classical understanding of locality, that only nearby objects can directly affect each other. Whether particles or the wave function are more fundamental is an open question in physics, reflecting deeper philosophical questions about the nature of reality. What if everything we perceive, everything we touch, everything we are, is not the most basic form of reality? This thought-provoking question pulls us into the enigmatic world of quantum mechanics, a realm where the ordinary rules of physics seem to be turned on their heads. Here we find ourselves faced with a fundamental question. What is truly fundamental? Particles or the quantum mechanical wave function? If we lean towards a particle-centric view, like in the Copenhagen interpretation, particles become the primary reality. The wave function is merely a tool for calculating probabilities of these particle properties. On the other hand, some quantum mechanics interpretations, such as the many worlds interpretation, propose the wave function as the more fundamental entity. Here, what we perceive as particles are merely manifestations of the properties of the wave function. The debate over which is more fundamental reflects deeper questions about the nature of reality and quantum mechanics. Consider a universe where the wave function, a mathematical function often including complex numbers and probabilities, is more fundamental than matter itself. This is not a mere philosophical musing, but a serious consideration within the realm of quantum mechanics. Firstly, if the wave function is indeed more fundamental, it suggests that at the most basic level, our universe operates on probabilities rather than definitive outcomes. Particles, those building blocks of matter we're so familiar with, do not have definite properties until they are measured or observed. This shakes up our classical intuition of a deterministic universe where objects have well-defined states independent of observation. Secondly, the wave function allows for phenomena like entanglement. This is where particles can be correlated in such a way that the state of one instantly affects the state of another, no matter the distance between them. This challenges the classical notion of locality, the idea that objects are only directly influenced by their immediate surroundings. The third implication is the fundamental role of the observer in quantum mechanics. The idea that the act of observation affects the observed system implies a universe where consciousness or observation plays a crucial role. This raises philosophical questions about the nature of consciousness and its relationship to the fabric of reality. Fourthly, the centrality of a mathematical construct, like the wave function, suggests that mathematics may be more than just a human-created tool for describing the universe. It could be the fundamental language of nature itself. Fifthly, the wave function encompasses all possible states of a system, suggesting a reality where all possibilities exist simultaneously until an observation collapses them into a singular outcome. This could provide a more unified view of reality, where seemingly separate or contradictory phenomena are parts of a larger, interconnected whole. Lastly, if the wave function is fundamental, then the classical world of distinct, well-defined objects and deterministic laws is an emergent property. It arises from the underlying quantum world under certain conditions. These implications challenge our classical intuition and offer a profound new perspective on the nature of reality. In the quantum world, nothing is as it seems. We've journeyed through the fascinating debate on whether particles or the quantum mechanical wave function claim the throne of fundamentality. This is not just a scholarly debate, but an inquiry into the very fabric of reality. If we embrace the wave function as the primary reality, we're forced to reimagine our universe. No longer is our world a deterministic dance of particles, but instead a probabilistic play of wave functions. Particles do not wear their properties with pride until they're observed, challenging our classical intuition of a predetermined universe. Quantum mechanics, with its wave function at the helm, permits peculiar phenomena like entanglement. Here, the state of one particle instantaneously influences another, no matter the distance between them, defying our classical understanding of locality. The role of the observer takes center stage in this quantum drama. The act of observation affects the observed, 
suggesting a universe where consciousness or observation has a pivotal role. This opens up profound philosophical inquiries about consciousness and its tie to the reality's weave. The significance of the wave function also hints at the profound role of mathematics. It suggests that math might not just be a human design tool, but the fundamental language of nature itself. This view resonates with the surprising effectiveness of mathematics in deciphering the natural sciences. The wave function's ability to encapsulate all possible states of a system hints at a reality where all possibilities coexist until an observation collapses them into a singular outcome. This perspective paints a picture of a unified reality, where seemingly disparate phenomena are just parts of a larger interconnected whole. Finally, if the wave function is indeed fundamental, our classical world of distinct objects and deterministic laws is merely an emergent property. It emerges from the underlying quantum world under certain conditions, like large numbers of particles or interactions with the environment. So the next time you look at the world around you, remember, what you see is just the tip of the quantum iceberg. Who knows what lies beneath?